Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to do a recap of the planners and journals that I took with me on my vacation. I have been gone for the last three weeks. I was in Denver for a week working and then I was in Iceland for two weeks and I brought uh, what you're looking at with me. So I thought I would go over that stationery, do a little bit of a recap, which ones I used, which ones I didn't, and just kind of show you where everything has sat now that I have gotten back and related to my travel journaling. This is gonna be a longer video because I kind of want to cover everything all at once. So I will try and leave timestamps down below if there are pieces that you are more interested in, the tools versus the notebook flips, etc. I brought my passport size traveler's notebook and use this as my main planner for the entirety of the trip and also my wallet. I thought that this was actually going to be a bit of a challenge. Turned out it worked very well for me. Um, I still use my planner quite a bit on the trip to reference which hikes we wanted to do on a daily basis. Were there any notes I needed to write down for the hotel or Airbnb, things of that nature, along with jotting memories throughout the day so that it made journaling when I had time a little bit easier to kind of reflect and put all of our activities together in chronological order. This is a black traveler's company, traveler's notebooks. The charms on here are from Bomb Kuhen. I will list their shop down below. I did bring my standard size traveler's notebook. This is the Olive limited edition one. This was my journal and travel journal while I was out and about. I keep three inserts in here. I have my memory keeping insert, uh, which will flip through my current daily journal and then my travel journal. While I was traveling, I did not do much daily journaling. I pretty much used my memory keeping insert when I had time and my travel insert, which I'll flip through here in more detail. I did also bring my Hobonichi Weeks with me on this trip as a backup planner. I didn't bring it in the cover. I just brought my weeks in the clear cover itself just to kind of save on uh, packing space. But really the reason I brought it is because sometimes when you're overseas, it is a stressful situation and I needed my security blanket. Uh, and honestly, I didn't. I pulled it out, um, I think twice on the entire trip, mostly just because I had some free time waiting on things and started kind of backfilling it just to, you know, keep it up to date. Okay, so let's talk about the pen case itself. This is a Deldi uh, zip pouch. It slides up and down. One thing I really like about this when traveling is it works as a pen cup and having all my pens vertical makes finding things significantly easier. So anytime I travel, I'm typically going in this guy. With the amount of Tombos that I brought, it will not zip close, but it was so packed that it just sat in my backpack and uh, didn't have any issues with things spilling out or anything like that. I got this off of Jet Pens, I think a year, maybe two years ago, and I've been using it uh, ever since. Um, but this is my go-to pen case, and this is actually what I keep in my desk as well. I don't like take the pens out of this pen case. This is just kind of its little pen home. So some of the basic tools that I brought with me, I brought my uh, Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen. This is what I do for most of my ink um, outlining, line art type of things that you'll see some of the sketches that I do along with hand lettering. It's an oldie but a goodie. I did pick out a new one just so I knew it wouldn't run out of ink while I was gone. I also brought my EK Tools slice thing. Uh, I travel with this all the time through like TSA, no issues. It's not deep enough to like actually cut anything, but if you need to cut down some washi or something, can be helpful. I don't think I used this once on the trip, but I never take it out of my pen case, so that was that. Brought a pencil, just a Bic number two, 0 0.5. This is what I do all of my sketching with and it has an eraser on the back. And then my one backup pen, which is um, a Pentel Energel body. This is like the Pikachu edition. I got this off of um, Jet Pens, but it has a Uni Jetstream refill because the Jetstream is my go-to backup pen and a ballpoint pen always works if you have to resign a receipt or anything like that. So this was my one backup pen. Uh, works on Tommy River paper, works on any of the notebooks that I brought. Not my favorite ink color, but it is a tried and true. So it is my best backup pen. 
on the pen vein, I brought three metallic gel pens with me. These are the Uniball Signo Bronze. They are the bold ones. I have the silver, the bronze, and the gold. The gold has a green undertone to it, but the silver and the bronze I use a ton. I picked these up from Michaels. I do believe you could get them on jet pens if you were looking there, um, but these are probably my favorites from 2022. I pretty much don't think I have a single spread that doesn't have some of those metallic gel pens on it just to add sparkles, doodles, um, highlights, things like that. They're some of my new favorite stationery. These are the Tombos that I brought with me. Um, I will list them down below. I think I used almost all of these while I was traveling, except for maybe the dark green. My biggest regret with this color palette is I usually keep a gray in here as well. I wish I had another gray. I wish I had another blue. Um, and I wish I had my black with me because I found, um, or, or more browns. I only brought one true brown with me. I think this is Sable. And then I have 947, which is like a, it's burnt sienna. It's more of a rust color than a true brown. So I wish I had more of a cool tone brown, a gray, maybe a, a darker gray just for fun and a black. And I think that would maybe another blue. I only brought one blue with me. This was 312. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I brought 12 Tombow dual brush pens with me. This is what I did all of my coloring in of my sketches with. Um, I think my next trip, I would like to invest in a watercolor palette and uh, try traveling with that instead and like a water brush just to get more variation than being limited to the markers. But overall, big fan of the Tombow dual brush markers. They work really well on Tomo River paper and I know what to expect out of them, which made them really easy to use while I was traveling. I did bring three of these Sailor Shikiori markers with me. I have the orange one, which I don't think I used. Well, maybe I used this once. I ate a lot of curry while I was in Iceland. So I think I marked, I colored in like curry sketches with the orange. This is the tea green brown. It is a beautiful olive cover. I use this a lot for a lot of the greenery that I ended up drawing. And then this is the Yorokai, or I think that's how you say it. It's like a red with a little bit of like a pink undertone and um, use this one as well. It's kind of the only true red marker that I own. And then of course I brought my vanishing point. This is uh, actually a brand new one because uh, <laughs> if I can figure out how to edit this super sad, I will, but tragedy struck. And as I was reaching for a glass of wine, I dropped my pen, clicked out, nibbed down on a concrete floor and it just demolished it. I spent like an hour in the hotel room trying to like get it to write again. And yeah, the nib was just completely shot. The tines had completely split. Uh, one of these days I might try and fix it myself or send it to someone who could, <laughs> but that was like towards the end of the trip, I went like four days without this thing and oh my gosh, I, I missed it every single day. So I did order a brand new one. Um, the tip is much finer than the one I had. I think the one I had, I've, I've definitely <laughs> ruined the nib a little bit before I really ruined the nib. Um, but this is my favorite go-to writer. I love that it's retractable. I love the weight of it. I write super fine and, um, yeah, it's my baby. Let's talk about the passport. Um, again, this is the Black Travelers Company Travelers Notebooks. The two charms are from Bomb Kuhan. I also had to replace my clip. Lost this pretty early on. I think I put it in the pocket of a of my uh, the seat in front of me on the airplane and uh, never found it again. So uh, I did end up getting a new one. So I went with a three insert setup. I have um, my annual insert for my bullet journal set up in here and nothing really changed. I did do a couple spreads uh, specifically for Iceland here in the back that I can kind of show you now. I had sort of a master task list up here along with a running shopping list and any kind of notes that I needed to write down. Um, when we were booking tickets and things like that. And then I also drew out our itinerary and this was kind of a good little cheat sheet for me because we were gone over the end of May and into the beginning of June. I just kind of drew out the three weeks that we were more or less gone. Uh, anything that was scheduled, I did in this dark teal color. So we had tickets for a specific time that we needed to be there, such as flights. Uh, we had tickets to the symphony rehearsal, dinner 
dinner reservations, things like that. Uh, at the top, I just kind of wrote the general region that we were in. So REK for Reykjavik, GC for the, the Golden Circle area, um, Pak Gill, we were doing glaciers, a cute town that I didn't remember the name of, driving day back to Reykjavik. We did go around the Ring Road in its entirety. And then all of this we had digitally on a Google Calendar that both I and my husband had access to, but I'm a paper person, so this helped me out quite a bit. All right, and then around that I had my uh, folder and the front at the time I had our vaccination cards in case we needed it. And then the back, just some stickers. These are from Rendy.Plans and then one sheet here from Sterling Inc that I use for a habit tracker. In the middle, I kept my wallet insert. I went with the canvas insert from uh, the B-Sides and Rarities collection. If you have a black uh, cover, it's definitely going to transfer. So be aware of that if that is something that is going to bother you. And in here, I really just kept my ID, uh, the couple cards that we brought in our insurance information. And then on the center string, I kept uh, my passport and that worked out really well. The wallet insert protected the passport. And um, because the center string is the string covered elastic that comes, you know, built into the planner. This is the slippiest insert. So my passport would slip in and out very easily when we went through uh, security or if I needed it to show as like form of ID uh, versus my driver's license while we were out. So that worked out extremely well with this configuration. That's kind of what I did on fly days. And then on non-fly days, I switched my daily insert in the back with those so that it was in the back because I didn't need it nearly as often. And and if you are in a traveler's notebook, the center string is almost always the easiest to write in. And then in the back, we have my, my current bullet journal or my quarterly insert more or less. And this is where my monthly log, weekly log and daily logs turn um, work out. So let me just show you what um, where I was in the trip. Um, so I think that's starting here. We left for Denver on a Tuesday. A um, few days while we were in Denver. Pen test, these are all the pens that I brought with me if you want a screenshot versus reading mine down below. Um, did set up June. I did set up June ahead of time, actually. Um, all my weekly spreads, let me zoom in so you can see a bit better. All right, so I did my Hobonichi week style layout because I knew I didn't want to have to think about it. I wanted it to be very straightforward. So all day events, date specific tasks, any memories, have a tracker, running list. This was really overkill for most of the trip because I was on vacation, but I would kind of scratch out things translated from that spread I showed you in my annual so that I could kind of go from there filled things in uh, when we got back. This is post trip and I've since moved into a A5 bullet journal. So I haven't used these last few spreads. Um, but the other thing I did is I went in with my date stamp. My date stamp is from Amazon. Uh, I can try and put it down below for you guys. It's nothing special, but I did go ahead and kind of stamp in my dates that I was going to be in Iceland. And I did a full day per page because I knew I would want all the space to kind of scratch things out, do any memory keeping. I really ended up drawing something every day, which I really enjoyed. And that's something I'm really trying to kind of keep up now that I'm back. I either want to draw something in my journal every day or in my planner every day. Um, we saw tons of waterfalls, just some like really crazy views. I would keep notes on like hiking tips if we look something up on all trails or online before we went. Um, if anyone said like stay here or there or something like that, I'd write it down ahead of time just so that we could kind of remind ourselves before we set out. Some days was just, you know, to do kind of stuff. Uh, this is the tragedy day that I broke my vanishing point and then I ordered the Yoseka refresh pen at the same time. And uh, last few days of the trip here. And uh, then kind of prepping for the travel days. Didn't really do much drawing here towards the end of it. I have a list of things that I want to kind of put in the back of remaining pages of my travel insert as well. 
and then on the airplane I proceeded to uh, brain dump out an A5 bullet journal setup because I'd kind of been craving one the entire trip and that is how that turned out. Okay, so now let's talk about my standard size. I brought my Olive Travelers Company Travelers Notebook and in that I had uh, three inserts. I've taken this one out of the middle string because I've been kind of trying to work on it here and there. Um, but in here I have the craft folder wrapped around the Travelers Company vertical free insert. So this is undated and this is what I consider to be my memory keeping insert. I still have some blanks that I need to fill out, but at the end of every day, I would try and go in and kind of write where we went, what we did, um, any memories, notes. Uh, I really put an emphasis on trying to sketch things more this trip and I'm really glad I did. I think it grew a little bit, got a little bit better, always needs some practice, got a couple blank days here and then, you know, picked it up again. So I didn't have time to do this every single night. Typically it was like Wednesday morning during coffee. Then I would like knock out, you know, a couple days here and there. It was just whenever I had time, there wasn't a lot of pressure on it. My notes from my passport really helped me kind of remember what the heck we were doing here along with photos and my camera. Um, so I just kind of take the time to, to match them up when I did have time. And then in the back, in the cotton zipper case, there wasn't much in here in particular. I think I've got um, some sticky notes in case I needed them, a ruler, which I used to use straight edge. I did not bring a couple things. So my two regrets is I did not bring washi tape and I only brought these double-sided tape little pieces from the Traveler's Company versus an actual like Tombow tape runner. And those are my two regrets. I wish I had washi tape with me because I had a lot of things to tip in that I'd have to kind of guess on where I was going to tip that in later, which you'll see as I flip through this insert and um these were not great i would rather have had a tape runner and just like found some space in my suitcase for that um i did leave my daily journal in here this insert is from uh jet pens it's a jet pens exclusive um i didn't really use this and i probably could have taken it out for the trip because when i was on my trip if i had time to journal i was prioritizing filling in this insert this insert is from Good Ink Impressions. It is a four millimeter grid white Tomoe River paper insert uh, with squared corners and it's the 68 GSM Tomoe River paper. I did have to request the grid size and the corners uh, in the notes to seller. Her shop is in Spain, so I had to order this pretty well ahead of time, but I absolutely love these inserts. I believe this is a 60 page insert, which ended up being perfect for a three week trip. So let me just show you where it's at because one of the things I tried to do was fill this in as I went. I just wanted to see if I could keep up with it. What would that be like? I've never used a, a travel journal. This was kind of my first experiment into it. So I left the first page blank because I plan on going through and drawing out like the calendar that I showed you in my passport. So I've got the full itinerary here for in the future. And then this, I want to print out a map and then just put little X's on where we stayed. Um, so you can see our path around the ring road. So I'll do that here at some point. I did decide to memory keep uh, the December trip, I left space because I'm going to go back in with my date stamp. I didn't travel with any stamps, um, but really if I had any ephemera or a sketch or something, I would try and prioritize that and then journal in between. Um, early on in the trip, I was pretty good about doing this every night. So this night we had really nice uh, dinner. Uh, this is hard to see, but if you will look, I basically, at the end of the night, this is all I committed to doing, was going in in pencil and loosely sketching what I wanted to add or writing if I was going to tape something in. And then I was like, if I skip it, that's fine. Now I've got enough to kind of go back, trigger my memory and write what I need to write. Similar on this day, I have a couple pencil sketches in here, a map that I taped down a little bit of piece of because I knew we were in that area. Um, this was our actual travel day and I've got our boarding passes and we were asleep for most of the time on this. I'll probably write a couple sentences, but I did go ahead and just slap those in there. And again, this day, all I had time to do was do my sketching and I didn't do any of the journaling and I would just sort of 
do some uh, rough areas where I knew I wanted to print a photo out later. So I'll measure these print pictures and put them in there. Um, at some point in the trip, I did find some tape at a store. It is not true washi tape, but I did start kind of putting a couple tip ins here and there. This page kind of spans across uh, two full spreads for one particular day because I had a lot of ephemera that I wanted to keep. Uh, this day we went to a distillery. I'm going to put a photo down here, a photo here, some sketching. We got some little socks. Uh, this day was an incredibly beautiful hike and I wanted to just dump a bunch of photos. So I did a little sketch of the beginning that I didn't get any pictures of, wrote a little bit about it, and then I'm just going to put a bunch of photos from here. Uh, this day we saw glaciers for the first time. So I've got some photos that I'll kind of print in those blank spaces. And here's basically where I give up journaling because I broke my pen. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go back in and look at my passport size along with photos of my phone and then just kind of finish it up. So no pressure on myself. I think with the way I do this is gonna be about two pages per day. I'll have about like six or seven extra pages. And some of the things that I wanna do in there is like a playlist of all the albums that we listened to on our road trip. I wrote down like a bunch of questions that I want my husband and I go through and answer. Um, like our favorite meal, favorite song, favorite album, favorite site, favorite hike, those kind of things and kind of do a his and hers comparison on the trip as well. And then at the very back, I'm going to do a cost breakdown because uh, we definitely ended up over budget on this particular vacation. In the back, I just have a bunch of ephemera that need to go on those last uh, four or five days that I have left that I've kind of hung on to, um, such as our return flights and things like that. So I will go ahead and tape those in at some point, um, but I just wanted to kind of show you where I was at at the end of the trip. So those were kind of my main squeezes. Um, I'm planning on doing an updated or like a hundred page flip through of my daily pages here in the back. So you'll see my weeks uh, in a better over on Instagram more likely, but that was my trip overall. I talked about my few regrets. Um, Definitely wish I had washi tape. We'll do that for the next trip. Definitely wish I had a tape runner. We'll do that for the next trip. Would like to invest in some watercolors because I think that would be more beneficial than the Tombos because I was just kind of lacking on some colors that I wish I had. And I think if I could have mixed something up, that would have been a little bit better. But overall, really great experience. I found some time for journaling when I had time. And I think next time I travel, I will definitely bring my standard for sure. Maybe my passport again because it was just small and compact packed and it worked out well, um, but we'll see. I don't think we're gonna be taking a big trip like that for you know at least another year or two. Uh, we gotta save up some money for the next one, but if you made it this long, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.